chapter 15. And the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families, was unto the border of Edom, even to the wilderness of Zan, southward, at the uttermost part of the south. And their border, and, the, and their south border was from the uttermost part of the salt sea, from the bay that looked southward. And it went out southward at the ascent of Akrabim, passed along to Zan, and went up by the south of Kadesh Barnea, and passed along by Hezron, and went up to Adar, and turned about to Karaka, and it passed along to Asmon, and went out at the brook of Egypt, and the goings out of the border were at the sea, this shall be your south border, and the east border was the salt sea, even unto the end of the Jordan, and the border of the north side was from the bay of the sea at the end of the Jordan, and the border went up to Beth Hagla, and passed along the north of Beth Arabah, and the border went up to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben, and the border went up to Deber from the valley of Achor, and so northward looking toward Gilgal, that is over against the ascent of Duman, which is on the south side of the brook, and the border passed along the waters of En Shemesh, and the goings out thereof were at Enrogel. And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom, unto the side of the Jebusite southward. The same is Jerusalem. At the border went up to the top of the mountain that lieth before the valley of Hinnom westward, which is at the uttermost part of the vale of Rephaim northward. And the border was drawn from the top of the mountain unto the fountain of the waters of Naphtoah, and went out to the cities of Mount Ephron, and the border was drawn to Baala, the same as Kiriath Jerim, and the border turned about from Baala westward unto Mount Seir, and passed along unto the side of Mount Jerim on the north, the same as Chesalon, and went down to Beth Shemesh, and passed along by Tina. And the border went out unto the side of Ekron northward, and the border was drawn to Sycharon, and passed along to Mount Bela, and went out at Jabneel, and the goings out of the border were at sea. And as for the west border, the great sea was the border thereof. This is the border of the children of Judah, round about according to their families. And to Caleb the son of Jephunneh, he gave a portion among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord to, to Joshua, even Kariath Arba, which Arba was the father of Anak, the same as Hebron. And Caleb drove out and Caleb drove out thence the son the three sons of Anak, Shishai, Ahimin, and Talmai, the children of Anak, and he went up there against the inhabitants of Deber. Now the name of Deber before time was Kiriath Sefer, and Caleb said, He that smiteth Kiriath Sefer, and taketh it, to him will I give Aksa, my daughter, to wife, and Othniel, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, took it, and he gave him Aksa, his daughter, to wife. And it came to pass, when she came unto him, that she persuaded him to ask of her father a field, and she alighted from off her ass. And Caleb said unto her, What wouldest thou? And she said, Give me a blessing, for that you have set me in the southland. Give me, therefore, springs of water. And he gave her the upper springs and the nether springs. And this is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families. And the cities at the uttermost part of the tribe of the children of Judah toward the border of Edom in the south were Kabzeel and Edar and Jaguar and Kenna and Demona and Adada and Kadesh and Hazor and Ithnan, Ziph and Telem and Belath and Hazor and Hadata and Kiriath and Hezron, the same as Hazor, Amam. Shema, Melada, and Hazar Gadah, and Heshmon, and Beth Peleh, 
and Hazar Shuel, and Beersheba, and Bisaiosiah, Bela, and Lim, and Ezem, and Eltolod, and Chezel, and Horma, and Ziklag, and Madmana, and Sansana, and Laboath, and Shilima, and Ain, and Ramon, and all the cities are twenty and nine with their villages. And in the lowland, Eshtaol, and Zorah, Ashna, and Zonoa, and Enganan, Tapua, and Inam, Jarmuth, and Ajilam, Sekoa, and Azekah, and Sherem, and Adithium, and Gadara, with Gadorotham, fourteen cities, their villages, Zenon, and Hadasha, and Migdal, and Gad, and Dilan, and Mizpah, and Joktil, Lachish, and Baskat, Eglon, and Cabin, and Lahamas, and Chithlish, and Gedaroth, and Beth Dagon, and Nama, and Makeda, sixteen cities with their villages, Libna, and Ether, and Ashen, Ifta, Ashna, and Nezib, and Kaliah, and Kila, and Oxib, and Merashah, nine cities with their villages, Ekron with its town villages, from Ekron even unto the sea, all that were by the side of Ashdod with their villages, Ashdod, its towns and its villages, Gaza, its towns and its villages, unto the brook of Egypt, the great sea being the border thereof, and in the hill country, Shemir, and Jatir, and Soko, and Dana, and Kiriasana, the same as Deber, and Anab, and Eshtema, and Enim, and Goshen, and Holin, and, Ga and Galo, even cities with their villages, and Arab, and Ramah, and Shan, and Yanum, and Beth Tepua, and Afaka, and Humta, and Kiriath Arba, the same as Hebron, and Zior, nine cities and their villages, Maon, Carmel, Ziph, and Jutah, and Jezreel, and Jokdim, and Zenoah, Cain, Gibeah, and Timnah, ten cities with their villages, Halhul, Bathir, and Gedor, and Marioth, and Beth Anath, and Eltakan, six cities with their villages, Kiriath Baal, the son, the same is Kiriath Jerim, and Rabbah, two, two cities with their villages. In the wilderness, Beth Arabah, Midden, and Sakah, and Nibshan, and the city of Salt, and Engadi, six cities with their villages. And as for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah could not drive them out. But the Jebusites dwelt with the children of Judah at Jerusalem unto this day. All right, let's go back up here to verse 1. And the lot for the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families, was was unto the border of Edom, even unto the wilderness of Zin, southward at the uttermost part of the south. So what we're talking about now is we're going to lay out the borders of Judah itself, the tribe of Judah. And uh, we are going to start on the south end of Judah. And it would run from or from Edom along the wilderness of Zin, and the, the south, verse 2, and the south border was from the uttermost part of the salt sea from the, the bay that looketh southward. And we're down at the bottom of the salt sea, and uh, this we're talking about a bay at the very bottom of the sea that, that is on the south end. And it went out southward of the ascent of Acrobam, and passed along to Zin, and went up by the south of Kadesh Barnea, and passed along by Hezron, and went up to Adar, and turned about to Kata. And what we're doing is we're just going down, and we're drawing a swooping circle along the south end of uh, Israel. For And it passed along to Asmon, and went out at the brook of Egypt, and the goings out of the border were at the sea. This shall be your south border. And what it is, is it just draws a line on up to the great sea that is on the west side of, of Israel. 
which would be modern day Gaza, the bottom edge of it. Verse 5 And the east border was the Salt Sea, even unto the end of the Jordan, and the border of the north side was from the bay of the sea at the end of the Jordan. So, what we've done now is we're using the, the whole Salt Sea on the east side of Judah and it's forming the border all the way up to where the Jordan dumps into the Salt Sea and it includes that bay there at the end of the Jordan 6 and the border went up to Beth Hogla and passed along by the side of Beth Araba and the border went up to the stone of Bohan and the son of Reuben so there the we have Reuben had his inheritance on the other side of the Jordan and what it is is there's the marker there that where where Reuben's border was if we remember when the was explained and on the other side of the Jordan when those two and a half tribes got their inheritance of course it doesn't say the stone but we know the border of Reuben was right there where the Salt Sea and the Jordan join the border seven went up to Deber from the valley of Achor, and so northward, looking toward Gilgal, that is over against the ascent of Adam, Adjumum, which is on the south side of the brook, and the border passed along the waters of Enshemesh, and the goings out thereof was at Enrogel. Okay, uh, what we did was, the, the valley there by Deber, uh, the valley of Achor, we remember Achor, the valley of Achor, that's where Achan, the troubler, and uh, all his things were burned. Okay, we're looking northward from there and looking toward Gilgal. This is where they would go on up north to, towards Gilgal uh, after they fought against uh, after they fought against Jericho. They would, was going to set a camp there and they would make that would be their military base for Till they finished most of these these wars verse 8 and the border went up to the valley of the son of Hinnom unto the side of the Jebusite southward the same as Jerusalem and the border went up to the top of the mount of, that lieth before the valley of Hinnom westward which is at the uttermost part of the vale of the Rephaim northward and this would be where Caleb would his inheritance would set where the Rephaim were the the, the sons of Anak were still there the borders of the Jebusites near now come into play we see that their border comes down along the edge of the Jebusite and the border was drawn verse 9 from the top of the mountain unto the fountain of the waters of Naphtoah and went out to the cities of Mount Ephron and the border was drawn to Baalah the same as Kiriath Jerim and we know that this is pretty much where the uh, Hebron would be the this is the city of the forest and this is around where Caleb's property would be the what we're doing is just kind of drawing a jig, jiggity line across the northern portion the northern boundary of the children of Judah 11 and the border went out unto the side of Ekron and northward and the border was drawn to Sycharon and passed along the Mount Bela and went out at Jabneel, and the goings of the border were at the sea. 12. And as for the west border, the great sea, was the border thereof, and this is the border of the children of Judah, round about according to their families. And we've just drawn a, a ziggity line across the top edge of kind of splitting the whole of Israel in half there on the west side. We've drawn the south border. It's a, a swooping circle that goes from sea to sea. And the sea is the border, which would include modern-day Gaza and much of that area. 13. And unto Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, he gave a portion among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord, to Joshua, even Kiriath Arba, which Arba was the father of Anak, the same as Hebron. So this just proves that Caleb's portion is located within Judah itself. And... Kiriath Arba is the city of Arba and here it tells us Arba was the father of Anak the, the father of the giants and Caleb drove out from there the three sons of Anak verse 14 Shishai, Ahiman and Talmai the children of Anak 
but these would be the three sons of Anak. And he went up there against the inhabitants of Deber. Now the name of Deber before was Kiriath Sefer. Sefer means books. Kiriath the city, the city of books. And this could have been probably where they kept their their land deeds and the, the, the public records such as this, most likely. 16. And Caleb said, He that smiteth Kiriath Sefer, and take it, to him will I give Aksha, my daughter, to wife. So it must have been a fairly tough city, and Caleb's asked for a little help, and whoever can whoop him, he's going to give his, or his daughter to wife as a prize. 17. And Othniel, the son of Canaz, the brother of Caleb, took it and gave him Aksha, his daughter, to wife. And this was customs at that time. Then we notice here that this is Othniel, is the son of Kenaz, and so is Caleb. Caleb's the son of Kenaz, too. He's a Kenazite, or Kenazi, which would be the children of Kenaz. 18. And it came to pass when the, she came unto him that she persuaded him to ask of her father a field. And she alighted from off her ass, and Caleb said unto her, What wouldest thou? What wouldest thou? And basically, what do you want? And, and she, in 19, and what she done is she's come out, they're receiving their inheritance. This was probably a, a great day, and she's rode her, her little donkey out there, and she has persuaded her husband to Caleb to give her a field for an inheritance. And she's rode a little donkey out there to sit, 19. And she said, Give me a blessing, for that you have set me in the south land. Give me, therefore, springs of water. And he gave her the upper springs and the le nether springs, or the lower springs. So he, he gave her two springs, the upper and the lower springs. Verse 20. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Judah, according to their families. Verse 21. And the cities at the uttermost part of the tribe of the children of Judah toward the border of Edom in the south were Kabzeel and Edar and Jaguar well, and 22 and Kenna and Demona and Adadada. Well, I would go through here and read all these, but you know, we've done read them once. These are just naming the cities within Judah that Judah inherited. We could translate these and, and see if they had any meaning, and I did translate all of them. I'm not going to go through every translation I, I translated, but we we will find that most of them do have a significant amount of meaning. Verse 21, for for instance, would be translated, God has gathered his flock that remain. Now, we ain't going to read them all, but, you know, if you want to do a little homework, a little study, we there there are things there we could learn. Okay, we're going to move on down. We're going to skip all these towns and all their villages and the name of all these little towns. We're going to move on down to verse 63. And it says here, And as for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah could not drive them out. But the Jebusites dwelt with the children of Judah at Jerusalem unto this day. Now we know that David conquered the Jebusites. David conquered Jebus when he was a king, and they took the city of Jebus. So these writings were definitely prior to the, Je the time of David. And Jebus, the Jebusites, where was Jerusalem? This is the same place where the where the teaching place was to go to at that time where they would teach about God. The king of Jerusalem has been slain, yet the Jebusites managed to hang on. The reason for this is because it don't seem that God is helping Judah drive these Jebusites out. They have, the children of Israel have already showing the signs and these thorn bushes are starting to rear up and they will become a great problem later on, as we would find out in the period of David 
But David had grown very angry with this, and he, because they would taunt him with the two pillars, one on each side of the gate, that said the lame and the blind. But this is another story, and we're going to move on to chapter 16.